You may have already mastered the art of making dal puri, lentil puri, paratha, sada roti, alu roti, pepper roti, and dosi roti from watching my videos. This is your opportunity to master peas puri, similar to dal puri, but we are using fresh pigeon peas you can find in your backyard or the freezer section of your supermarket. If you're ready and excited to learn or just watch, let's start cooking. Fill a medium pot with water and bring it to boil over high heat. Defrost, rinse and drain your peas. Add one tablespoon of salt. Peas. Cover and cook 10 to 15 minutes. Reduce heat to medium. Leave the cover slightly ajar. Measure out 4 cups of flour, 20 ounces, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, 2 teaspoons brown sugar, 1 teaspoon salt, pinch of yeast. This is optional. I'll mix well to combine. I'll begin the kneading process. I'll gradually add water. Move it from side to side. Just allow the dried flour to absorb the water. I'll repeat this until there's no more dried flour. Then squeeze it together. The second step in cooking with Rhea's kneading method is to squeeze the dough to bring it together to form a cohesive whole. And then you're going to roll it around. The second step in bringing it together. The dough should not be too dry. Then the knuckle press method. Gently knuckle press to smoothen the dough. I'll add a tablespoon of ghee. Use a vegan substitute to make it vegan. Knuckle press. and bring it towards the center to knead for just a minute or two. Knuckle press to smoothen and we're almost done. Hang in there. We'll allow this to sit once we're done while we grind the peas. Okay, I'm going to pull it towards the center and we're done. Take off the stove and let's strain it. We'll allow the peas to cool completely before we grind it. While the peas are cooling, this is a good time to knead the flour. If you haven't done so already, place it in a single layer to assist in the drying out process. You want it very dry and not soggy and this will expedite it because I want to cook today and this will take a little time to dry out. Excess moisture will be the enemy of this dish. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Just gonna allow it to sit for another hour or so while I enjoy my lunch. Next we'll add the air dried peas to the bowl of a food processor and we'll pulse until fine. It's smooth but still nice and sticky which will make um, filling very easy. Remember the last time under the lentil puri I made it into balls so next we'll season and do the same thing. I find that the balls make it much easier to fill. I have a couple of cloves of garlic, two or three pimento peppers and one hot pepper. Adjust the pepper according to your preference and I'll place it in the mini food processor. I already have chopped bandania or blended bandania so I won't be adding any here. I'll place it in. I'll 
and I'll pulse. The seasoning smells very aromatic and I'll add it now to the ground peas. And this is ground roasted cumin, one tablespoon. Salt to taste. I always try to have ground bandania in the fridge, so I'm going to use a tablespoon of it. Let's stir this up and then we'll taste and adjust. Give it a good mix. Smells fantastic. For the dal puri, remember I heated oil and I added the ground dal into the pot and then seasoned it here, but I think I'll leave this as is today. Mmm, delicious. I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. So this is about a tablespoon of salt total. You may require less if you're using table salt. And now I'll make it into balls. I'm going to make five to six loyas or roti. So I'll make five or six balls. Let's see how that goes. I'm adding one more tablespoon of bandania. You add according to your liking. All right, let me clean up and I'll move on to the next step. Next, I'll make it into balls. I'm gonna scoop up a sizable amount, depending on the size or the number of roti you're gonna make. You just squeeze it into a ball. And that's it. Doesn't have to be too perfect. Next we'll make the lawyers. I'll divide the dough into five pieces. If your tower or pot is very small, you can divide it into eight pieces. I would love to make eight, but the goal is always to get out of the kitchen as fast as possible. Take one of the pieces and then fold it to the top. Squeeze the top and rotate. You've just made a loya. I'll repeat with the remaining balls. We'll allow the lawyers to sit for 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll fill them. Next, we'll fill the dough and it's no longer a daunting or difficult task with the new technique I devise, as you may have seen in my lentil video. Place the loya on the surface and press out. I'll flour both sides generously. Place it in the bowl. Next we'll place a ball of peas into the dough and pull up. Pull the dough, pinch to seal. We no longer need to pull. It has served its purpose. If you don't seal this properly at this point, it can break during cooking and you wonder why your roti did not swell. This could be the reason. Next, we will press to disperse the ground dal, the seasoned ground dal, evenly around the dough. Repeat with the remaining dough and peas ball. Keep the dough covered while you repeat. No bowl is required. This is so easy to do. Let's practice. You will be perfect. I like substance to my roti, but if you want your roti very thin, you can decrease the amount of dough used or increase the ratio of dal to dough. Heat the towel at this point and get your oil ready. We are about to cook the roti. We'll cook all peas puri. And the last one, pull it over the top. And we'll start rolling out with the first one we filled. I placed parchment paper in between to save space. I have a very small counter here, so this really helps. Flour surface. 
generously. Roll out to the size of your tawa. Making sure the edges are even and not thicker than the center. It's already becoming very thin here, so I will focus on the edges. And with this filling method, you may not always get filling at the edges, but that's okay. I have oiled the towel. And this one had to rest a little while on the counter, so it ripped. But that's okay. Managing a camera and lights and everything else is quite challenging. Next we'll brush with oil, vegetable oil or any oil of your choice, olive oil, you can use butter or ghee. I'm going to raise the heat to medium, it's on low because the towel was very hot. Here's my dabla, you can find this on my Amazon store. Next I'll flip, being very careful. This is not going to swell on this side because there are little holes here because of the dal. Don't make swelling a goal, just ensure that it's fully cooked. So just stress yourself out for no reason. Once you've oiled that side, flip. Add a little oil on this side. Just continue to cook and spin or flip until it's fully cooked. Smell heavenly. Can't wait to dig in. One down, four more to go. Clean and oil your towel. Reduce the heat to low if it's on high. And roll out your dough. And that's all there is to it, my sweet friends, a pea-stuffed roti. It's soft, it's full of flavor, and will be perfect with curries or stews. It's the ultimate comfort food that you could enjoy alone, but we enjoyed it with some curry, bacon, and ali. Let me know below if you've ever tried this combo. I hope you've enjoyed being in the kitchen with me today and plan to make this peas puri. If you do, please send me a picture or tag me on social media. Until next time, stay safe, be well, cook, share, and love. Bye-bye.